Hello, everybody. Thank you for watching CCN Crown City News. I'm Tammy Devine. Our top story, an African-American man stabbed in a fast food restaurant in Temple City continues his recovery. Police say it's possible he was attacked because of the color of his skin. CCN's Catherine Cortez joins us live with more on this story. Catherine? Hi, Tammy. Hi. Tammy, a quiet community is facing a possible hate crime after a group of white males attacked an African-American man at a local restaurant. Sheriff's deputies in Temple City say they're, they've arrested three people in this case and say more arrests are likely to happen soon. Police say a 20-year-old black man was beaten and stabbed outside of this Carl's Jr. restaurant in Temple City late last Friday night by several white males. Now Sergeant David Austin of the Temple City Sheriff's Department says they are investigating the incident as a possible hate crime because of how the attack began. It's like the altercation was initially instigated and started by the use of racial epithets towards our victim that ultimately escalated into a physical altercation. Sergeant Austin says the fight started with one suspect calling the victim racial names including the n-word while he was eating with friends inside the restaurant. Austin says when a physical fight broke out the victim tried to get away out the back door with his friends when at least one other suspect joined in on the attack once they were outside the building. He says the victim was able to run away to his uncle's house a couple of blocks from Carl's Jr. but he says not until after the victim was stabbed in the back by one of his assailants. We're disturbed. It's uh, pretty rare. It doesn't, doesn't happen very often at all. We took it very seriously and a lot of people put a lot of hours in this past week and so far we've had made three arrests on it. Austin says two juveniles are in custody whose names cannot be released and Richard Michael Tree, an 18-year-old white male who goes by the nickname of CJ, was also arrested. He says authorities may be arresting one or two more suspects. They know that their local law enforcement is extremely concerned about an incident like this when it does happen and gets our full attention and um, we'll put whatever efforts we need to to make an arrest in situations like this. Sergeant Austin says the victim was visiting his uncle who lived a couple blocks away from where he was attacked after moving away two years ago. He says the victim possibly went to the same school as the suspects and that he has had recent contact with at least one of the suspects, although that is not confirmed, Tammy. Back to you. All right, Catherine, thank you for that report. And Austin says the adult suspect got out on $50,000 bail within 12 hours of being arrested, but that all suspects will face the same charges of assault with a deadly weapon and possible allegation of hate crime. He says the courts will decide on the punishment, but there is a strong possibility that the sentence will include some state prison time.